Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show a tutorial how to calculate the week number of the month. Uh, usually in Power BI we can get the week number of the year very straightforward. So we can create a new column and we can say week number equals there's a function called week now and we have to give the date. So here I will give the sales date. Right, so it will give the week number, but it will give the week number of the year. So today, the tutorial that I'm going to cover how to get the week number of the month. For an example, so this is the 2020 calendar. So here, what I want is, let's say this month. So this month, this one, I want to take it as week number one. Then this one, I want to take it as week number two and let's say in this month this week I want to take it as week number one and this week I want to take it as week number two likewise so each month I want to get the week number right let's see how we can achieve that right so now it's time to uh, generate the formula in order to get the week number of the month so let's say for an example let's say if you want the week number of this so the output that we want is one two three the output we want is so three so that's the output that we want to get it after writing the formula so how to get it so first we need to get the week number of the year for the week number of the year let's say one two three four five six seven so week number of the year year equals to seven then we need to minus it right by the week number of the first date of the month so first date is this one right so here i write the formula as week number of the first date of the month so as output here we get the output as one two three four five right so it will be five right so part of the formula has been generated now this one week number of the year of this week minus week number of the first date of the month it will give the output as 5 minus 7 minus 5 is 2 but the output that we require is 3 because the week number of the february that what we are checking here is 3 1 2 3 so now for that we add a constant value as plus 1 so my formula will be 1 plus week number of the year minus week number of the first date of the month so let's implement it in the power bi right so we traverse to the formula one by one so here we add new column first i want week number of the year right so for that i say directly week number sales date so directly i can give the output and get the value right so it gives the output that i want then i want week number of the first date of the month so for that i go here create a new column i say week number of the first date of the month so for that i get the week number function and as the input value i need to give a date of the first so let's say if it is january i want to give the input date as january first for that i will use a formula called 
date right so here I will give directly sales date dot year function and then as the month I will give sales date dot month number function and then as the date I want as the day I want the first one so here I will give the first so as you can see January 8th it gives the week number of the first of January is one so let's say February February 1st the first week number is five so we got the output that we want so week number of the first day of the month right so now we write the total formula here so I add a new column so here I want week number of the month so here I want to use week number of the year minus week number of the first day of the month and then as you can remember I added a constant value of plus one right so as you can see January 8 week number 2 January 25th it's week number 4 so likewise we got the desired output that we want week number of the month right so if you compare it with let's say uh, example that I took previously so let's say February 11th February 11th so output that we expected was 3 because it's week number 1 2 3 so by writing our formula so February 11th the week number of the month calculated as 3 so this is the formula you can directly use it as well if you want to get the uh, output of the week number of the month Right, so I will quickly show the usability of it. So let's say if we add the sales value to a small graph like this, stack chart. And let's say I add a data label. Likewise, so then I get the week number of the month as axis. So as you can see, week number of the month, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six weeks per month. On certain months so then it comes as the output and then I get the date hierarchy as a filter here right so I'll add a filter like date hierarchy so let's say if you want to select 2020 2020 month let's say February right so the example that we took so as you can see now you can see the sales value of the week number two is very higher so then week number three it's lower week number four it's lower so again average likewise so you can compare by using this one you can compare week by week uh, the average or the sales value of the month so thanks for watching my video uh, this is how we get the week number of the month so please keep in touch and subscribe my channel for more power bi videos